What is going on guys? Welcome to this video. My name is Kyle Zoltel. I'll be reviewing Get Out. And I'm not the biggest horror or thriller guy, but like when they're made right, I will praise them like any other movie. So my brother does get kind of upset when I uh, trash talk like these horror movies. But I have to say, this is one of the very few well-made horror movies of our generation. And it's not just a horror, it's also a thriller. And I do prefer thrillers any day of the week. But still, this is Jordan Peele's directorial debut. If you don't know who Jordan Peele is, uh, living under a rock. He was with Kia Peele. He is Peele. Jordan Peele. Kia and Peele. You get it. He made a fantastic horror thriller movie. And what's weird is because he comes from a comedy background. And when I first heard about this movie, I was very interested. I was like... Jordan Peele making a horror movie? What is it gonna be? A slasher movie and this and that? And then I heard it was like a psychological thriller kind of stuff. I was like, that's interesting. I don't remember being so awed at a horror movie before. Not even The Conjuring 2. This is one of those rare movies that like messes with you in your, in your head. It's like really psychedelic, weird shit going on. It's, it's a fantastic movie. The acting across the board is fantastic. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the main characters, like his actual name. I don't know how to say it, so I'm just gonna refer to him as Chris. Chris is a fantastic actor, and his character is so grounded in realism, and the dialogue between back and forth and his girlfriend are so natural. Everything seems natural when it comes to the dialogue, and some of the directing in this movie was flawless. There was this one scene, no spoilers, there was this one scene with Chris and um, one of the uh, ladies, Georgia is her name, Georgia and uh, Chris were talking. It was so well done and so well acted it's so well directed like i was creeping out and it was just it was fantastic i have to praise this movie for the directing the writing and the acting and some people get confused when an actor's bad they blame it on the director or when the director's bad they blame it on the actor or when the actor's bad they blame it on the writer it, it, you can't really tell what the, that holy trinity you can't really tell who f's up first and who f's up second you can't really tell but luckily the writing, directing, and the acting was fantastic across the board. And I'm not one to like really praise or complain about camera shots. The camera choices in this movie are fantastic. And I hate thinking about camera work because it, it makes it hurts my head because I that's like my biggest weakness when it comes to making movies, it's the camera. And when I was watching this, I was like, everything is so well shot, and so it's like that's a perfect choice to shoot at. Like, okay, we're gonna shoot it from this angle, so you, you think it's this, but it's really that. I love that. I really love the camera work, and there's there's just so much to praise about this movie. The story arc and the, like everything. It's creepy, and if you guys are not one to get creeped out in movies, if you watch this and you don't get creeped out, there's something wrong with you because this movie really messes with your mind. Before I praise this movie anymore, I do have some minor nitpicks. In the second act, the pacing was a little off. I mean, like, throughout the movie, the pacing was off, but, like, specifically in the second act, where I was like, okay, it's a little weird, but that's a nitpick because it wasn't, like, as bad as most horror slash comedy stuff. And that kind of leads me back to a pause, which is really weird. Chris's best friend, I forget his name. I don't even think they have his name on IMDb or anything like that, but I, th I think it was Robbie or something like that. I'm gonna call him Robbie. But Robbie was fantastic. He was hilarious. And you would think that would contribute to the uh, pacing issues, but no, I don't think that was any problem with the pacing. And he was fantastic. He, like, he didn't seem out of place in a horror movie. Like, everything he was saying was fantastic. It was hilarious. He was definitely one of my favorite parts of the movie. Now, getting back to the negatives, there was this one scene. This is not a spoiler because it was in the trailer where, like, Chris is outside in the dark. I'm not gonna say what he's doing out there. But then you see this one guy just charging right at him and then turns around and then they never talk about it again except for one time he's like this, sorry did i scare you i was out on a jog i'm like but why and there was this other shot like where like georgia was walking across the hall and then they did, they did the jump scare thing with the loud music and i was like huh and my brother's like that was so good i'm like no that was horrible you that that makes no sense but other than that other than that, the movie is creepy. Not like your stereotypical jump scare, this, that. It makes you think about life like, do I really need a girlfriend? That's why I gotta tell myself because, you know, no girl really wants me. In the arms of the angel, 
one. So I'm gonna rate this movie 4.5 out of five stars. It's definitely one of my favorite horror movies that come out in this generation. I definitely recommend you guys go check this out. Thank you guys for watching. I have a Twitter, Instagram, the comments underscore the videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and like up later.